So I'm here outside 7012 Bopper Drive. This is the front here. Shot of the neighborhood as well. Let's go inside. So they put this kind of nifty feature here. It's just a little kind of arch. Unnecessary, but it looks nice. Front door has a keypad, which is nice. It's an entryway here. So there's a half bath. Downstairs here. So it's a little closet. Kind of the family living room area, dining area. Looks like wood burning fireplace over there. You have this uh, little bar area here. Pantry. It's good size. So you get the microwave in the island. Fridge goes here. A secondary kind of living room off the kitchen, probably for entertaining things like that. Garage floor looks like it was just refinished. Just a door at the side. Your washer and dryer would go there. Water heater looks like it's dated uh, 2021. Take you out back before we go upstairs to look at the bedrooms. <clears throat> so it's kind of elevated compared to the houses behind it. So it's nice and private. Upstairs. So it's nice they did the stairs to match. Uh, the worksmanship looks good. It's usually on the stairs when you have a bad floor installer, is where you'll see uh, you know issues with the craftsmanship, but it looks really good here. I like the vertical uh, stacked tile. It's a nice kind of modern look. Have a dual vanity here. One of the bedrooms. Closets are big. They could be built up better with either a second rod below or some shelving. And then this room is fairly long. Probably 14 by 10, something like that. Same thing, closet here. Uh, furnace is in here. Have a little uh, linen. It's kind of an office area. And then you have the master here. So nice amount of shelves. You got the upper and lower rods here, kind of maximize space. It's good natural light. Big, big mirror, double vanity. Separate room for the toilet. Uh, more linen storage and getting ready area here. 
looking at the, the bench. You need to sit down, shave your legs, take a break. And that's the tour.